Well, increasingly, and whether we like it or not, technology is taking over our lives. It's also making its way into the classroom, demonstrating that we've come a long way from the old Buffalo set with compass and protractor. <laughs> Our Rich Garten checked out one of those classrooms today and joins us now with more. Take it away, Rich. Well, Jim, back when I was in school, we all fought over who got to use the computer that day. But for many classes now, sharing computers is a total thing of the past. These grade 8 students at St. Rose Catholic follow a daily routine like any other with one major difference. So everyone was pretty excited when we first got them. Mrs. Clement's class is part of a pilot project, the only class in the whole Catholic board where each student has their own Chromebook. Kids are um, accessing and utilizing technology in ways that we never even thought possible. It's something the superintendent of education says could be the future of education. There was a computer on my desk when I showed up for the first day of work and now that computer has expanded uh, to a laptop and to a cell phone and to an iPad and to a Chromebook. And so the thinking goes, why should it be any different for students? It seems normal like for us because we use them all the time. Lori Clement has been teaching for 15 years. Their knowledge and abilities, they're keeping me on my toes. But after receiving Google certified training, she now sees her role as a teacher changing into that of facilitator. It's at their fingertips. They're, they constantly have full access to so much information. So more important than ever is we need to teach them what to do with it. And I got a taste of that firsthand. Within minutes of introducing myself, the students had already Googled me. Knew tons of stuff about me, where I went to school, my wife and my daughter's names, and what I like to do during my spare time. Their teacher says, that's typical. You know, instead of wondering or thinking, wow, well, I'll look that up tonight and get back to you, you know, instantly 27 Chromebooks are opening up and we're looking for that answer. And above all, the students are working together on everything. No longer just a, a teacher uh, down type of model, it's certainly more of a group collaborative model that enhances um, communication. A lot of the students say it allows for collaboration and flexibility both at school and at home. But that also has its downside. During a recent snow day, students were informed they'd be working from home. So, Jim, I guess they're also getting a little taste of the working world, too. Well, many of us remember when there were no computers at schools. Rich, thank you. Rich Garden tonight.